Welcome back to Dare to Call Him Friend. And today, let's invite the guest of honor in. Isaiah chapter 40, verse 3 to 5 in the message. Prepare for God's arrival. Make the road straight and smooth, a highway fit for our God. Fill in the valleys, level off the hills, smooth out the ruts, clear out the rocks. Then God's bright glory will shine and everyone will see it. I have been a guest in many homes. I have dined while sitting cross-legged on bamboo mats. I have eaten in exquisite dining rooms. I have sat in farmhouse kitchens. I've sat at picnic tables. And I've stood around many campfires while carefully balancing a paper plate and a cold drink. I have shared a hard-boiled egg and a small bowl of rice, always humbled and blessed by the kind generosity offered. I received every gift of friendship with a grateful heart. Although my host's circumstances varied considerably, they shared two commonalities, careful preparation and a desire to bless me. In Northern Ontario, my host had snowmobiles waiting in case their guests need alternative modes of transportation up to their farmhouse in the dead of winter. In a refugee camp along the Thai-Cambodia border, my hostess placed a freshly scrubbed bamboo mat on her dirt floor in my honor. She made sure that mat was positioned under her only decoration, a red crepe streamer hanging from a rafter. My disability now makes it pretty difficult to prepare gourmet meals for guests, but I do as best as I can. I dust and I vacuum. I scrub the bathroom as best as I can. I clean the kitchen, set the table, and select music that I hope will be a blessing to my guests. I make sure to stock their favorite pop, if that's what they like to drink, but I am careful not to overtax myself in preparation, so I will be a welcoming hostess to my guests. Isaiah 66 verse 1, heaven is my throne and the earth is my footstool. What is the house you would build for me? And what is the place of my rest? Not only is Jesus my most honored guest, but he is also my most gracious guest. So eager is he to commune with me that he not only builds my house, but he helps me with my spiritual house cleaning and creates a resting place for himself in my heart that he brings to a place of rest. Now, how is that for a guest? Hebrews 3, verse 1 to 6 in the Message Translation. So, my dear Christian friends, companions in following this call to the heights, take a good hard look at Jesus. He's the centerpiece of everything we believe, faithful in everything God gave him to do. Moses was also faithful, but Jesus gets far more honor. As Builder is more valuable than a building any day. Every house has a builder, but the builder behind them all is God. Moses did a good job in God's house, but it was all servant work, getting things ready for what to come. But Christ the Son is in charge of the house. Now, if we can only keep a firm grip on this bold confidence, we're the house. Don't worry about having everything in place in order to invite Jesus into your house, into your heart, into your space. He already knows what your place looks like, but he's not there just to clean up your act. He's there to get to know you and for you to get to know him. He might start to clean stuff up after you get to know him just a wee bit and in time, when you see he's not as judgmental as you might think he might be, you might give him some access to those doors that you prefer to keep shut, 
hoping that nobody else will peek in to see your mess. If you have difficulty sorting out the clutter in your life, Jesus is a great person to invite into those cluttered spaces in your heart.